Hey guys, my day has just been made, okay? If you look at my comments in the last video, Pedro responded to me, he talked to me. Oh my God, I'm so, you gotta understand guys, I'm ecstatic, I'm excited. You know, um, yeah, I'm one of his biggest fans and all I wanted was some attention, I wanted some love and support. You know, I just wanted him to say I mattered and I got it, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't know what to do with myself, you know? I mean, I think that can feed me, pay my bills, you know, take care of my kids, just be acknowledged. You know, I'm, I'm you know, this is a long time coming because you gotta understand, um, getting that, that acknowledgement is everything to me because, you know, with being a, a content creator in this YouTube space, you know, trying to, you know, make, <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> why? Why do? Why do? Why? I don't understand. I'm gonna take these AirPods off because I want y'all to hear this message clear. Cause I know a lot of you guys gonna say, you know, the audio quality is trash. Let me take these AirPods off. All right, so look, guys. Okay, um, what I did yesterday was. A experiment okay An experiment I wanted to see if it's indeed true that if you uh, do the three things that get you popping a video to be hot in the kicktuber space if that's true like three things you do true if you do these things your videos will be popping I did it okay you talk about a big kicktuber you know whatever you want to call that a bigger kicktuber you um, you know you do a video also talking about how either you're not making money or you're making a lot of money if you're not making money you got to be emotional you got to be sad you got to be you know you know cry if you're making money you got to act like you're just won a lottery and like you're doing great things you're about to open up a fortune 500 business and then last thing and the most important thing is you have to put it in rant form okay that's how you you do a video with numbers. That's what I did, guys, yesterday, okay? Uh, all joking aside, look, I did what I told you guys in my video two weeks ago that you have to do to pop. You have to beef with the gig tube or try to make up some fake beef because me and Pedro aren't beefing. Pedro isn't the type of guy that would even beef with anybody. You know, he's not, he's unbothered, okay? So you gotta understand, I took a moment that yes, I did feel some kind of way. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys about that. I did feel some kind of way because you know, with the Dash Trader, you know, um, one of the most miserable people on YouTube at the moment that everybody don't like. Nobody really likes all the gig tubers. Nobody really likes them other than you know Pedro. Um, that's generally I wouldn't say beef because he's not important enough to beef with. But that's generally somebody that I like to throw shots at for fun because he's just a miserable guy that you know. Who cares? But with Pedro, you know, I felt some kind of way because, you know, Dash and Trader, he's mad at me because I wouldn't let him edit a few of my, few of my videos and I didn't want to use them for free because I don't use people. But with Pedro, I did feel some kind of way because I was trying to help him with the, you know, like people knowing how to go, go to the event. And I felt like he, you know, uh, stopped acknowledging, you know, my existence, which, you know, I found funny. That's the only reason why I did a video on that, but I'm not mad. Pedro, I don't care. Pedro is the most nice guy from what I see in the world. Why would anybody be mad at Pedro? And I don't care about anybody's like attention. You gotta understand. Um, I've I've got to see Kobe, Lil Wayne, and uh, Michael Jordan in person, but I never got to talk to him. But I've seen Giannis's, you know, Giannis or, or Antonio Cooper or whatever, however you say his stupid name, his brother. I picked him up with the agent and a couple other people in my little Uber. And I was in groupie mode. You know, this is summer league. Now, I, mean, I picked up, um, I've been around MLB players multiple times, like big ones that I didn't really care about. Um, I haven't really been around anybody huge, but I've been around, you know, I saw Kim Kardashian. I had a chance to take a picture with her, but I didn't care. I didn't walk up to her, say nothing to her. I saw Kanye West walking and I didn't it bother him because I knew he was minding his business. He was in Vegas. And, you know, he seemed like an erratic type of guy that you really don't want to do that. Um, and I thought it'd be awkward. I've seen actual famous people. I'm not a groupie. I don't care about that, you know? Like I said, Lil Wayne, late Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan are the only people that I might walk up to and say, hey, listen, if you diss me or reject me for 
invading your space, I'm 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 all for it to have the opportunity to possibly, you know, have a conversation with you for two minutes. But other than that, I'm not, I don't care. So understand the video I did yesterday um, got the most engagement, got the most likes, got the most views in the amount of time that the video is out than any video in the past three, four months. That's the goal. I told you guys I want this channel to pop and I wanted to just experiment and see if indeed what I know how to do works. As you can see, I got two videos that are close to hitting a thousand views um, this week. I haven't got close, I haven't sniffed 600 plus views on a video in two or three days of the video being out in months because of the fact the content I'm talking about, people aren't engaged enough in it to grow a channel. People don't want positivity in regards to, people don't want to um, hear about rideshare in a positive way, it gets old. Now, I got the same, I got actually something unique. Half of my subscribers watch all my videos, every video. So, on all my videos, half of the viewers are from subscribers, okay, which is good. But, at the same time, that means that if I'm only getting 500 views, I'm only, I only got 250 people rocking with my videos and I got over, you know, 9,000 subscribers, that's bad. You know, and it's all based on the fact that when I was popping out here, I was doing videos like the one yesterday to where I was complaining about how rideshare is bad and how this person hurt my feelings and this and that and this and that and people felt emotional connection with me and they rocked with my videos and I was averaging two to three thousand uh, views a video which allowed me to hit uh, 25 to 30 thousand views a day that's how you make money on YouTube you don't make money on YouTube with 500 a thousand view videos you know 2,000 view videos you don't really make money unless you do four videos a day which some people do you make money by having videos that you know are hitting five to ten thousand views now realistically the longevity in that is not there when it comes to rise here which is why I'm going to more than likely just start talking about other things I already got the laptop out I got my um, my light right here so I can start you know at night I got everything set up to where I'm probably gonna end up just doing this because um, I know that the only people that would want me to continue talking about ride share are people that are for the most part um, want they want me to be unhappy now the money I'm making with ride share I'm making about $200 a day <laughs> with the um, delivery apps I'm doing okay uh, for me that's okay right now $200 a day and I'm doing my YouTube thing now the thing I see is I've been doing ride share content for a month now and my numbers are still the same i am be honest with you guys my numbers are around 2200 on average every two days which is horrible horrible you can't make money that way I'm only making like $10 a day max unless I get super chats so what that means is that there's no gonna be no growth for me unless I get move on to something better because I don't want to do ride-alongs because for me to do proper ride-along it takes too much time out of my work day now for me to make $200 a day I have to work about 10 to 12 hours I mean I got lucky and I've done eight hours and got close to 200 but for the most part rule of thumb I have to do about uh, I have to do about 12 to 14 hours to be able to make $200 and you know do enough to do a ride-along edit video and all that it just takes too long you know, so I don't want to do those because they're not entertaining enough. I rather do lives, and lives you don't really make money, okay? And then I don't want to repurpose clips and do that because that's just bad when you got half of your views coming from your subscribers who are watching your lives anyway. So with that said, you know, yesterday I wanted to draw draw drama up some um, views, and I wanted to see if that's the way you have to, you know, more so go. And I don't want to do it. You know, I have no issue with Pedro. I have, you know, Dash Trader, even though it seems like I have an issue with him, he's not important enough to have an issue with. You know, he's literally, like, not going to be a thing in th two years, you know, because gig work, um, gig apps are going to be so oversaturated to where there's no money in them. So what are you going to talk about? Now, you know, time's going to run out when, what are you going to do in about two years when, you know, um, DoorDash is paying a dollar base pay, you know, Spark is paying three dollars base pay now. And now you are only making 13 to 14 dollars an hour max how are you gonna like manipulate videos to make it seem like you're making all this money like you can't really do it too much 
And at that point, these people are not gonna have anything to talk about because they don't have personalities. They don't have a story to tell. You know, all they do is, is manipulate people's um, into thinking that you can make money, all this money with gig work. But I just spoke the truth yesterday, you know? But I just added Pedro in it just for views. I'm not even gonna lie, added them for views, you know? Um, but besides that, look, guys, yesterday's video is just the truth. Nobody's really making money. And it ain't about having a bad week or a bad day, okay? Uh, like many of you guys said, it ain't that. It's just, I sat here and I tried to fake it to make it with gig, the Gigaverse, and it's just ain't it. And it caused me to just be in the same position four weeks later with YouTube. So what I'm going to probably do, unless I see a lot of votes of y'all wanting me to stay with GigTube, if y'all want me to stay with GigTube, then I'm probably going to make this channel a parody account to where I'm just going to clown the GigTube space and just make videos that are just going to be funny, talking about how, you know, you can make $500 doing this. And just, I'm going to do a bunch of clown videos, like Bozo the Clown videos, just making people think that you know, you can make all this money with these stupid tips. It's gonna be drink 10 gallons of water and then you go to the bathroom every hour so that way you could go and you get deliveries at water. You know, it's gonna be stupid crap like that because there's no way you're not making three, four hundred dollars a day. You're not, you're not. Now, I know one guy that actually sent me evidence. He sent me proof of him making $2,000 a week. You know, he's on my channel, I, I think I07. Um, he's out there in um, um, Atlanta. He's making 2,000 a week, but guess what? He's working like 100 to 110 hours a week. That's insane, insane. But guess what? He got it in him to do that. I don't. I don't have it in me to work 100 hours now. You understand, my brain is like way fried still. Like I have a hard time keeping track of time because of the fact when I was doing these gig apps, it was causing me to um, you know, not really look at the clock and just drive, drive, drive to where I did that for like two years to where I literally don't have any sense of time. I just go with the flow and just work. You know, I don't have any type of, um, of, of way of, you know, budgeting my time, see my kids, to have a personal life, to do, no, I'm just in the car working all day because I got used to this. And it ain't, I don't see nothing wrong with it because of how abuse, how much abuse I put on my um, brain from just doing rides here all day. And like I said, I'm still happy with rideshare because I'm making $200 working 10 to 12 hours. Who cares? I'm making good money. I'm making more money than I work at a regular job or I make at a regular job. So I'm not mad at rideshare. Rideshare, it is what it is. What I'm, um, what I griped about yesterday, which most of it was just me acting, was the fact that, you know, I just don't want to talk about, you know, and I'm trying to build myself up because I'm a pleaser. pleaser. I like to please everybody. You know, at the detriment of myself, I like to please make everybody happy. That's just something that I gotta deal with. Me being bipolar, that's part of one of the flaws, that I try to make everybody happy even if they're not there for me or they're not for me. I try to make everybody happy. So the situation is this. You know, I'm probably going to convert and I'm probably gonna start talking about trending topics, news stories. Um, that way I can grow my channel um, the right way. I got you to make money from YouTube and expand. Because right now I'm not gonna expand with Rideshare because I don't care about it enough. And you know, I don't wanna have to do videos like I did yesterday, throwing shots at people, you know, like Pedro and people like, you know, like that because of the fact, um, you know, that's really the only way to, to draw drama attention, you know? Draw up attention with this space. Because, you know, when I talk about like politics or cultural issues or news. I'm talking about things people don't know and I'm just sharing the news. So people don't see this and they're like, okay, this thing can't be true. Like I'm probably gonna do a, um, a reaction video to um, this presidential, not, uh, presidential um, candidate um, who went on a breakfast club and this woman embarrassed herself trying to make this guy look crazy. I'm probably gonna do that today for live, you know? But, um, yeah, that's just it. I mean, I just don't want to have to push narratives with gig work to try to get people to, you know, um, watch my videos because, you know, all it is is stories. Stories about how you're making all this money, stories of beef, 
stories of this new feature, stories of people getting murdered driving rideshare. And you know, I felt bad because the guy, I'm hoping that he's not trolling, but he hit me up and said that I convinced him and talked him into doing the Polestar rental with Hertz, you know, with um, Lyft. I feel bad because the guy is draining and I told you guys not to do it. I told him not to do it. Why do you think I didn't do a review video on it? I think he did it and I, I told him to hit me up on Instagram and I'll show him how to get a cheaper car for like 160 a week uh, compact. You can get a charger for 180 a week and he'll make more money in the long run. I'm gonna show him, it's a fleet vehicle. I'll show him how to do that. But I'm not trying to run, I'm not trying to push you guys into the fire, you know? Um, but with that said, yeah, yesterday, I was just, it was just a joke. I'm a, you understand, I'm an entertainment guy. Like even this thumbnail, you guys are probably, y'all probably looked at it like, oh my God, this dude is going crazy. No, it's funny. When you see that, you're probably laughing like, oh my God, this dude is literally a Pedro fan. Yes, I'm a fan of Pedro because of his um, effort, dedication to what he's doing. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm all about that. Cause I'm all about people work, going, coming from the bottom, working their way up. And that's what he did. He started from the bottom, worked his way up. He didn't get given subscribers. He wasn't given, you know, this platform. He worked for, worked hard to make and set up himself to be in this position, you know? And he did it the right way. But of course, I'm gonna throw my shots at Dash and Trader. He's not grouped with Pedro, even though he tries to, he's the real stand. You know, he's the real, he's trying to be like, he's not even Robin, he's like, he's like the Riddler, baby. Like, he's like the guy, he's trying to like be a good guy and latch on to Pedro, but Dash and Trader only made his, his got his views up because of him confronting people and now he forgot where he came from. And now he's doing what he thinks is it, which is lie about making all this money and, um, you know, talk about how the tips and tricks of this is gonna make you all this money, which it ain't. That ain't what I'm trying to do, okay? I'm not trying to be the butt buddy of a gigger who's making money, real money, to try to get myself up there. No, I'm my own man. I'm my own man. So once again, I'm gonna say and end it with this. There's no beef with Paige or anything like that. I just want to draw my attention. You understand, I'm a funny guy. And at that moment of him ignoring my messages, it was funny. Like I wasn't mad about it, it was funny. So I figured I'll come up with a script that will allow me to get some reviews off of that, um, you know, comedy. And who knows? Maybe Pedro will throw a shot at me. And I just make it even more funnier because then I'll get some views off that. But once again, I don't really want those views because I don't want gig tubers. I mean, I don't want giggers subscribing anymore because um, it's going to cause them to be mad at me talking about what I want to talk about. I'd rather get people that just want me to talk about me, my life, politics, news, culture. That's it. So with that said, I'm going to be coming on live at, I think, I think I'm gonna do 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. West Coast, you know, California time. I'm gonna go live and we're gonna talk about um, the direction of the channel. I'm gonna let you guys come on, tell me what you think. I'm hoping you guys rock with me and stick with me and just go with um, the way I wanna go. You know, because like I got the laptop here, I got the light system, I got everything set up to where I could talk about, you know, a lot of different things that are gonna go viral because there are gonna to be topics that people are looking for because this current thing's going on right now. Nobody's checking for gig tube um, content other than gig workers and so many of us are quitting and so many of us literally just want videos of people boosting you up thinking you're gonna make all this money if you stick with gig work. But you're not, you're not. Nobody's making money really. We're just tolerating it. This is a tolerating thing. You know, because all of us, we're saying we're part-time, but most of us are full-time and we're not making no money. I'm probably gonna go get a job after my son, and my son's coming from the 1st to 17th of the next month. And then when he goes back, I'm gonna talk to him, how have I heard, and I'm probably gonna tell him I'm getting a job here and I'm gonna see you on holidays and I'm gonna come, you know, try to come as often as possible, but I'm probably gonna just get a job here, um, set up shop, you know, for at least two years. That way I can um, um, have enough money to wherever his mom decides to move buy a house in that place because my credit's already growing you know but that's what I feel would make me the happiest if I don't um, figure out anything before I get to that point because I would rather just nine to five at a uh, you know with the job that I'm changing lives saving lives helping lives than um, continue to do this gig work at um, these terrible numbers that you tolerate 
And as I showed y'all before, told y'all before, I sat this morning and I did two deliveries. I'm at about $50, but I've been on, it's 11.38 and I started at eight o'clock. So what is that, three and a half hours? And I'm gonna be at 60 or 55, $60 after I finish this delivery. That's trash, that's trash. You know, that's absolute trash because I'm not getting paid for my time sitting around. And, ha and both of the deliveries I have to wait till 45 after to do it. So with that said, guys, um, don't take la yesterday's video as something uh, more than just me trying to show you guys how easy it is to blow up. And if I didn't do this video right here, um, guess what? I could have just played and continued playing on the Pedro situation and I could have got the views up. But I don't want to do that because Pedro is a, a nice guy. Why would I do that? Why, I'm not going to turn into Robert Reese. You know, I'm not Robert Reese, okay? And I'm not going to drum up, except he doesn't know how to be entertaining drum, drumming up drama because you see he's still getting 50 views. When I do my videos that draw, draw up drama, I get about close to 1,000. And as I said before, the video two days ago and now this video is probably going to hit 1,000 views. I don't want to have to do this to get 1,000 views. Those two videos, I don't want to have to do that. So with that said, that's all I got. Enough for repeating myself. Um, those of you that think you got me figured out, you don't. Entertainment, guys. Entertainment, entertainment. That's all I got for now. I'm out. Peace.